Hello family. Hey, it is the 9th of February and I just did this video and I completely forgot oral dental care. As important as it is, I forgot it. So, Clyde, um, uh, Willie, Charlie, be cool on everybody because they need to get this right here too. And it's going to be real quick, real short, and real sweet. But we got to discuss this because it's very, 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 very important. So, first, we're going to start off with it's 11.08 in the a.m. on the 9th of February, 2016. And I have to talk about some dental care. Family, look, as a little kid, I wanted to be a dentist. That is what I wanted to be as a kid. And dental care is huge with me. Dental hygiene, oh my God, is huge with me. When I'm one of them people that wears, you know, you know how like people notice certain things about people? I usually notice your top your 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 smile. That's what I usually notice when I'm talking to people, when people are standing before me or whatever. So don't be embarrassed when, you know, when you're talking and I'm just looking. A lot of times I'm looking at your smile. I'm looking at your teeth. A lot of times, too, your teeth tells a lot about, um, about you. It tells a lot about how you keep yourself up, how do you tend to yourself, how clean you are. You could tell that by a person's smile and by their teeth, about, the, about their oral care. Um, a lot of times, too, it gives description about their health care. Um, when your gums are inflamed and they're bleeding, they never should bleed when you brush your teeth. Your teeth should never bleed when you brush your teeth. When your gums begin to bleed, now you're getting the beginning stages of gingivitis and things of that nature. And that can go on to heart disease and all kinds of things. So, you know, really, oral care is huge, really. And you're trying to figure out, well, you know, I got high blood pressure, I got heart disease, all these kind of things. You know what I'm saying? It could also be um, the fact that you have bad oral care as well. And flossing, um, um, Listerines, and things of that nature are staples that you should just have, you know. And when you don't have good oral care, and especially if you indulge in... Um, illicit drugs, it tends to have a major effect on your dental health, okay? And different types of drugs, and especially with certain people, you know, it'll give you calcium deficiency, and you'll notice a lady could be in her 30s and have no teeth at all, you know? And it could be from a calcium deficiency. It could be, as some call it, mush mouth from people that, you know, were on meth and stuff. You know, a lot of times they lose their teeth. So when you're looking at somebody, they done lost their teeth, and you could tell when a person got, well, I can. I could tell when a person have full false teeth or, you know, different things. And I've had, I have a few friends that have veneers, so I can tell when, you know, man, you've had some good dental, you know what I'm saying, some good dental care. You know, I'm just one of them. I just, I just like dental stuff. And, you know, I ended up being a nurse. I never was a dentist, but I still, you know, dental care, it means a lot with me. You know, and I'm just an oral person. You know, I love it. And especially for women and men that are into oral sex and things of that nature. You know, I, I, I do my videos for adults. I don't I do not do kid. This ain't no kid shit. So I'm talking on some grown folk shit. You know, a lot of times men, you know, and women too. But for the most part, I'm speaking to my men. You know, you can give a woman a yeast infection. You can throw off her pH balance just by certain things that you've just eaten. You know, if you eat real spicy food, um, you know, real highly seasoned stuff, and after you done done this, now you about to do this right here, now you about to jack up her pH balance now. Now you're going to have her digging and scratching and itching and all that kind of shit because now her shit is thrown off because just by something that you've eaten. So oral care and dental care is huge. You need to have a good toothbrush. You need to throw your toothbrushes out every 90 days or so. Throw them bastards out. You know, me personally, I throw mine away before the end. You know what I'm saying? I'm but that, I'm just that way. Um, but, you know, I have different types of um, of uh, uh, toothpaste. Um, I switch out my toothpaste every couple of months. Um, and you see this is wet, so that lets you know how, you know what I'm saying, I'm big on my, on my teeth brushing. 
But um, th right now I'm using Pro Health, but I go and I use um, I use uh, Pro Health. I also have uh, that enamel care, and I also use Optic White. So you know I'm I'm subjected to switch up based on just you know what I'm doing or whatever. Um, I just like toothpastes and I like to have my mouth clean, um, and so. You know, but I'm going to tell you, I have bought that Arm & Hammer. Oh, my God. You talking about make your mouth feel so clean? Oh, my God. And my teeth were whiter. And I get Zoom whitening. So, you know, that's another thing, reason why my teeth are white sometimes. But I drink coffee every day. So, you know, I have to just about get Zoom whitening every year. There was a time I didn't have to do it, but every other year or so. Because I wasn't drinking a lot of coffee. But now, and some people get it. You know, um, less than every year, like every nine months or so. You know, it depends on what you're doing, especially if you work in the entertainment business. They have a sticker on that. Your dental hygiene is everything. And if you're in front of a camera, your teeth got to be on deck. And that's the reason why you see a lot of veneers and things of that nature going around because they're just big on that. But um, you also want to floss. I'm not good at flossing. I'm not good at it. I don't like it. I don't like to do it. But I do keep um, this in my purse. And I do keep it um, at my desk in my office. And from time to time, I do um, go ahead on and hit my teeth and floss them through. You know what I'm saying? And I also brush my tongue. I hit my tongue big time. Because then therefore, you know, if you hit all your mucous membranes all around your gum line, the top and bottom, all on your tongue and all that, you're cleaning your whole mouth. And a lot of times when people are having bad breath and stuff, they could need a colonic. You know what I'm saying? I am one that get those regularly, so I'm about that life. And I know about that life. But when you clean yourself from the inside out, you don't have a lot of those type of body odors and things. Um, um, my sauna cleans me from the inside out, so I don't have um, body odor like that. Um, I'm so on deck on my vaginal hygiene so i don't have that issue and i'm big on my oral care as well so i'm just a clean girl like that i'm you know slightly a germaphobe and you know i'm about that life when it comes down to being clean you're not gonna catch me out the way but um since i don't like to uh floss i have a flosser and this is it and you know i go through and i hit my um hit my gum line um i did have um a deep cleaning um, and so, and that also keeps you from getting a little gingivitis and such. And, you know, that kind of stuff. You don't want that shit in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? And to keep you from getting that, I'm going to ask that you have this. You know what I'm saying? You hit your mouth with this. If you are going back and forth with your Obamacare and you don't know what, uh, you know what, I, I, I ain't got no insurance. I can't go to the dentist. Then, therefore, all you need is this. Preferably, the total care one. This one. Okay? This total care right here is your dentist in a bottle. This right here will keep you at bay until you're able to go to the dentist. This right here, oh my God, helps prevent cavities, restore enamel, strengthens teeth, kills bad breath germs, cleans the whole mouth, and freshens breath. It's a six benefit in one. This right here is my shit. I have this one and I also have this one and I'm big about that life. And even if I'm not getting ready to brush my teeth with my full toothpaste, I just put some of this in my mouth, gargle, then heat it with the toothbrush and boom. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm big about that dental life. Now, and also to kind of wipe my teeth, keep my teeth whitened in, uh, in between my Zoom whitening treatments, then I use these types of things here. I don't use so much of the um, strips and stuff because that made my teeth a little sensitive. I didn't like that. So then therefore, I'll rock with this. But when I'm um, swishing my mouth with this, I'll leave a little bit in my mouth and then I'll hit it with my brush while this is still in my mouth. Even with my Listerine and stuff, I'll still hit my brush with the product in my mouth to still kind of cleanse and kind of get that extra film off the teeth. When you run your tongue against your teeth, it should be smooth. It should be smooth. It shouldn't be slippery and slickery and none of that kind of stuff. It's supposed to, You're supposed to feel enamel. When you hit the bottom of your teeth and all in your mouth and stuff, you're not supposed to feel nothing else on your teeth. The bottom teeth right here, a lot of people neglect the bottom teeth and then you'll see around their gum line is tartered out and yellow and shit and all that shit. No, no, no. I'm a kisser. 
You know, I do like to kiss, but if, if but if your dental hygiene ain't on deck, I can't kiss you. You know what I mean? And that's an intimate act that I really, really love. But, you know, if your dental hygiene ain't on deck, I'm sorry. I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm just saying. I'm just one of them. I'm, you know, to each his own. But, you know, this right here is regal to me. This shit means some shit to me. But I had to come back in and speak on that because it's, it's you know, it, it, it's a big thing. You know, you're wondering why people kind of steer away from you when you're talking to them and things of that nature. It could be your breath, you know. So you might want to, you know, pay some attention to all that right there. Have a little gum, you know, little Altoids and things of that nature around you all the time to kind of keep that shit at bay because a lot of times people won't tell you when you're smelling because they feel like you already should know that. That bitch don't know her ass is stinking. She don't know her breath is smelling. She don't know this, that, that, that. She don't know that, that, that. Listen. A lot of times people don't know, but you got to cleanse your whole mouth. You got to brush your gums, your tongue, your whole mouth, your whole mouth. It shouldn't be no slippery shit, no plaque shit in your mouth whatsoever when you get done with it, you know. And to prevent all that, get your little six and one right here and it'll get that, it, you know, it'll get that together and you'll be on deck. On that note, family, come get what you need when you need it. I love you guys and I love you guys for watching. Why don't you go and subscribe and quit playing? Go and subscribe to this channel. You know you want to. On that note, deuces. I'm gone. You guys have a good day. Bye-bye for now.